And we are coming to you from Cologne, Germany. These markets have been like my personal favorite. That is so insanely good. We are coming to you from Cologne, Germany today. It's a drizzly day, but we're kicking off our day in the Botanical Gardens. We had quite an adventurous uh, scooter ride over here <laughs> using those line passes. Once again, those 24-hour passes are amazing. Now that we're here, we're going to explore. Definitely doesn't seem the time of year to come here just based on the pictures. Usually this is full of flowers, but we're going to go explore it to get a little dose of nature first thing. We are now at the Cologne Gothic Cathedral, as you can see behind me. It is a very impressive building. It's uh, 516 feet high, or like 157 meters. Very tall. This is a real, one of the coolest cathedrals I've seen, for sure. Okay, so we just had a quick lunch at a vegan cafe that had like vegan buffet, which we've never been to before, so that was super cool. It was really good. And now we're actually gonna go inside that cathedral. This is one of the coolest buildings I've ever seen. So many sculptures, everything is so detailed. It is so awesome in here. Alter Market Christmas Market. As we were going in, we noticed that they have all these like mini elf-like creatures, and they're called, I'm gonna butcher this probably, Heisel Munchen. It's part of the clone folklore that these little like elf gnome creatures go and clean all the citizens of Cologne's houses uh, during the night so they can be very lazy during this day. So this whole market is full of them. This is kind of like the Heisel Munchen Market. Okay, so we kind of strolled from the one in the old market straight to the one in Hugh Market. They're very close together. I think they are actually two separate Christmas markets, but they both are designed similarly, so I'm not sure. But this is so nice. These markets have been, I feel like, my personal favorites because everything is just so cutely designed. They have like the wood huts, they have all those little gnome guys. Yeah, it's adorable. Love this so much. <laughs> All right. 
right, I know this is another bread and cheese thing, but it just looks so good. They like get the cheese all like fire roasted and then they scrape it off onto the bread. Uh, it's called a raclette and yeah, this looks amazing. Wow. That is so insanely good. I'm trying to figure out what kind of cheese it is. I don't know, but it's a really good cheese. And this, oh, it's so good. So cheesy, but so good. We are at yet another Christmas market. We're at the Christmas market near the cathedral. It's all lit up and beautiful. And there's, it sounds like there's live music. So let's go check that out first. everyone from Cologne once again it is our second day here and our last day exploring um, and we're kicking off the day with yet another Christmas market because the three we went to yesterday wasn't quite enough so we're at Rudolph Plots right now and we're gonna go check out this one first I couldn't help myself. I bought some more earrings. They were handmade and they're gorgeous. And they're like, earrings are the one thing that in countries I tend to buy because I love them. And so if I get any souvenir, it's usually earrings. So we're at yet another Christmas market. <laughs> this one's at Neu Market. It's Market de Engel. All right, we've got another little treat here. This is called Baumkuchen. It basically means like tree cake because the inside of it, if you can see, looks a little bit like a tree because it has all the rings on it. They gave us a little sample of the cake. It was really good, but we got this one covered in dark chocolate. Wow. Mmm. It's a very good dark chocolate. It's a good combo. Very good. We are outside the place where the first ever cologne was invented, and that's why they named it Cologne after the city of Cologne. Fun fact. So we're at Farina 1709, because 1709 is the year where it was invented. We just wanted to smell the original uh, cologne, and it's very nice. It's kind of citrusy. Yeah, it's very lovely. I'm at the Hohenzoller Bridge, AKA Lovelock Bridge. This is like a pilgrimage place for romantics. So what you're supposed to do is put a lock on here and throw away the key as a sign of your internal love. And we passed by this yesterday, so we wanted to show you guys this today. Because I cannot believe 
the sheer number of locks on this bridge. There are just thousands and thousands and thousands of locks all the way down this length of the bridge. It's so crazy. It is our last day here in the Cologne area and we decided we need a little bit of a break from the city so we are heading to go on a hike and it's nice because there's public transit to, that goes from the start and the end so we're just going to take the train all the way there and uh, it sounds like a really cool hike. arrived finally at the trailhead here. Looks like it's 15.1k to Königswinte, which is where we're going. And there's some stops to see along the way, some like different ruins and and like a castle, I think. So excited to see all that. I also forgot to mention that it is actually Liz's birthday today. We're gaining some elevation here, which is probably a good thing so we can burn off all the junk food from the 11 or 12 Christmas markets we've been to. Finally made it to the Löwenberg ruins, and they're really cool. I think they were built in the 1200s. I think there were some battles here a long time ago, and you can see it's kind of just been left in that state. It's really cool looking. It's not very often that you get to hike to and have lunch at some castle ruins. Just as we were leaving, there was a big group of people that asked me to take a picture of them, and in return they gave us some muffins. That was really nice of them. We just climbed to the top of the Drachenfels hill, which means like dragon's rock or dragon's stone. And you can see the ruins of the castle up there. Really cool looking. The castle was built in the mid 1100s, so there's some really ancient ruins. Um, maybe we'll even be able to see a dragon up there. So we're about 12 and a half miles in. Said I wanted to go for a hike for my birthday. Didn't quite anticipate this long of a hike. <laughs> we still have like, I don't know, a mile and a half down to town, I think, right, honey? Something like that. Something like that. All right, we'll see you guys down there. We are here at the train station. We are filthy and exhausted. <laughs> which that's how you know you've had a good day. I think this is gonna probably be our last vlog before Christmas, so in case we don't post again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and we will catch you in our next video. Good morning from the Austrian Alps. Woo. Gorgeous day to be skiing. Pepita. Yikes.